Hi, Mom. No, I didn't make it into town. I had to stop. I've been driving for six hours. I had a really long day at work, so... Yes, Mother, I know it's Christmas Eve. No, I will, though. I'll do it before I leave tomorrow. Mom, the holidays are hard on all of us. Okay. No, I'll talk to you then. Goodbye. September 7th, 2003. Checked into the nearest motel. At least the guy at the desk was nice. I can't wait to get out of here. I can't believe I'm stuck here. The guy at the shop told me my car should be fixed in about a week. I miss Joe and the kids. September 8th, 2003. Had trouble sleeping last night. I kept dreaming of this faceless figure. I was tossing and turning all night. I feel restless here. Can't wait to leave. Can't go outside, it's raining. Stupid TV's broken. My meal I ordered from room service was practically inedible. I counted the ceiling tiles. I keep feeling like someone's watching me. I'm starting to lose it. September 9th, 2003. Still had trouble sleeping. I swear something's in this room. I keep dreaming of this figure with no face. I swear I woke up and it was standing in the corner, watching me. The manager assured me no one was in my room. He even checked the room. I requested a new room. He told me I can't get one until tomorrow. I'm hearing noises. I'm seeing things. I don't want to stay here anymore. Why did I have to drink so much that night? Why did I let my son drown? The guilt is driving me insane. It's all my fault! Joe, take the baby seat! The chair moved! The TV turned on! <laughs> 